and welcome back. It is Medical Monday. Thank you for joining us. And East Cooper Medical Center is our ABC News 4 hospital expert. Today we're talking about the latest advancement in breast reconstruction. And Dr. James Craigie joins me now with more. Dr. Craigie, thank you for joining us. Thank now you let's for talk. Me. What's new in breast reconstruction? Well, the, there are new techniques that are being done. In general, breast reconstruction is either done with the patient's own tissue or an implant to replace the breast. Uh, within the realm of implants, there are new types of implants, new shapes of implants. Within the realm of using your own tissue, there are different types of ways to do that that we call muscle preserving procedures. Now what about fat grafting? What does that fall under? Which procedure? Uh, that falls under using your own tissue and that okay. involves actually performing a type of liposuction, preserving the fat cells themselves, and then using them to inject into the breast and have those cells living mm -hmm. and to perform breast reconstruction that way. And would you say that that's probably the best best type of breast reconstruction to have done? Well, for, depends for on depend, the depending on the situation, <clears throat> uh, fat grafting can be used to reconstruct the entire breast, but frequently it is not. Mm -hmm. Usually other tissue needs to be brought in as well. And so fat grafting can be used with implants, but it also can be used uh, with other techniques using the patient's own tissue. Okay, well, when and how is breast reconstruction performed? When is it and how is it done? In general, it's performed after a mastectomy. So a mastectomy means removing the breast. There are women who know they are high risk for breast cancer and can have a preventive mastectomy. And in that setting, reconstruction is performed at the time of the mastectomy. Mm -hmm. Other time, uh, a woman may go through a mastectomy after for the treatment of breast cancer, and then when her treatments are completed, then she would go through reconstruction. Now, what is the best case scenario when it comes to um, a, to the best aesthetic result? What is the best case scenario? Well, usually in our situation, it would be in a, in a circumstance where a, a woman could have a nipple and skin sparing mastectomy, and at that time, we perform reconstruction using their own tissue without having to take muscles. And then we feel like the result in the right circumstances is a, a permanent result and a more aesthetic and natural. Now let's talk about finally the benefits of the team approach because really uh, the best case scenario is when you have all of your doctors involved and that would be the breast surgeon, the plastic surgeon, and also the oncologist and even the radiologist. How do they all work together? Yeah, I think that's very, very important. There's no one doctor or no one specialty that that takes care of a woman with breast cancer. It should be a, a team approach. Uh, for what we do, it's important because if a woman can go through reconstruction, we don't want them to have the new reconstructed breast then undergo radiation. And so it's important that all the specialists, oncologists, radiation doctors, uh, breast surgeons, uh, all work together so that before surgery is done, everyone is in agreement that that's the best step to take. And this is the same way with a woman when she's diagnosed with breast cancer. Okay. All right. Well, Dr. Craigie, thank you so much for joining us. For more information from East Cooper Medical Center, you can just visit their ex visit our experts page. You can find that at abcnews4.com slash experts. And there's the information there on the screen for the East Cooper Medical Center. Now over to Tom.